Hello everyone and welcome to this full body yoga flow. This class is great for all levels with a full body sequence of poses to stretch, strengthen and center. Today's class includes a steady vinyasa flow with hip openers, back bends and side planks. I also included more challenging poses like headstand, shoulder stand and plow pose as an option so you can make the practice your own. So let's begin in a child's pose. You can open your knees as wide as your yoga mat, bring your big toes to touch, sitting on your heels so you can lengthen the spine first and then slowly start extending your arms out in front of you, gently releasing the forehead on the mat. Start tuning inward into your body, your breath, just to center yourself and just pause here to relax and soften your whole body. Notice if you are holding any tension in your shoulders, soften through your facial muscles, your neck, and just give yourself permission to relax your whole body and your mind. This is your practice, your time to focus on yourself. You can slowly start walking your hands to the right, perhaps away from your yoga mat, just to stretch through the side of the body. You can plant your left hand on top of your right and just softening those shoulders, your chest down towards the floor, gently opening through the side body. And slowly start switching sides, so walk your hands back to center and over to the left. Planting right hand on top of your left and bringing awareness into the right side of the body and just try to relax your shoulder down through the side body into your right hip, your glute. can come back to center, finding open twist, extending your right arm up towards the ceiling and as you exhale through the needle pose, so bringing your right arm underneath the left, releasing your right shoulder, perhaps your ear on the mat. Try to keep your hips still relaxed towards your heels, soften through the belly, Bring your awareness to your shoulders and just try to relax, let go of any tension. And returning back into our open twist, inhale, extend your right arm up, exhale, extend your arm back out in front of you and go ahead and switch sides, finding open twist to the left and thread the needle. And just again pause here for a couple breaths. And once you are ready, you can return back into extended child's pose, re-extending your arms out in front of you and adding on prayer hands overhead just to open up through upper arms and shoulders. And you can re-extend your arms back into extended child's pose. Let's take a one more breath in and full breath out. And you can start lifting yourself, start coming up to a seat. So walk your hands towards the knees, bring your knees together and go ahead and sit on your heels. Sitting nice and tall, relax your shoulders down from the ears. Take an inhale and as you exhale, release your right ear down towards the shoulder, stretch through the side of the neck. Feel free to place your right hand above your ear. 
if you are ready to switch sides or releasing left ear down towards the shoulder and again feel free to place your hand above your right ear allow your head to feel heavy and returning your head back to center releasing your chin down to chest and slowly start circling through your neck so looking over one shoulder and then dropping your chin down towards the chest and looking over the other shoulder perhaps tilting your head slightly back so find what feels good here as you gently and slowly stretch through the neck And you can slowly start bringing your head back to center. Relax your arms by your sides. And as you inhale, go ahead and let's squeeze your shoulders towards your ears. Exhale with the side, drop your shoulders down. And again, inhale to squeeze your shoulders up. Exhale, relax them down. One more time. Inhale to squeeze your shoulders up. Exhale, drop them down. And you can start circling your shoulders a couple times, so big circles. You can choose your pace. And circling opposite direction once you are ready. So go ahead and let's loop your shoulder blades forward, up and back. Clasp your hands behind your lower back to open up through the chest and shoulders. Drawing those knuckles down towards your yoga mat and perhaps lifting your arms away from your body to get a deeper stretch. Let's release your bind, shake your arms and come to tabletop position and start moving your hips right and left. So look over your left shoulder as you move your hips to the right and move your hips to the left and look over your right shoulder. And again, move your hips to the right and left. Return back to center. Inhale for cow. Open your chest and shoulders. Exhale, cat. And let's repeat. Inhale into your cow. Exhale around through the spine, your cat. Inhale to open up through the front line of the body. Look forward. Exhale around through the spine. Gently squeeze your belly. One last flow. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Chin to chest. Beautiful. Returning back to your neutral spine. Go ahead and lift your right leg at your hip level. Point your toes. Keep your core engaged. And as you inhale, lift your right leg up. And as you exhale, curl. And again, inhale to lift. Open. Exhale, contract. One more time. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, bring your knee towards your forehead and step your right foot between your hands into your low lunge. Stacking your joints, knee right above the ankle and slowly start rising your torso up as you extend your arms up towards the ceiling. Adding side bend to the right, so place your right hand onto your right hip and reach your left arm up and overhead into the side bend. Relax your head down towards your right shoulder and rise back up. Re extend both arms as you breathe in, reach up high. And as you exhale, open twist to the right. So, left arm reaches forward, right arm back into your twist. Perhaps looking over your right shoulder, return back to center. And as you exhale, half split pose. So if you have a yoga blocks at home, feel free to use blocks under your head. So come up to your fingertips. Try to straighten your front leg as much as you comfortably can. Keep your right foot flexed. Adding open twists. So extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Plant your hands on the mat and bring your right knee back and we will switch sides. 
So lift your left leg up, point your toes. And as you inhale, arch your lumbar spine, look forward, open your chest. Exhale, pull your knee in and up towards your forehead. And let's repeat two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale, curl. One more. Inhale to lift. Open up. Exhale, curl. And step your left foot between your hands. Low lunge. Rising your torso up into our Anjani Asana. Extend your arms up. Relax your shoulders down from the ears. Lift up from the pelvis. You are lengthening through the spine. And adding on our side bend. Place your left hand onto your hip. And then reach through your right fingertips up and overhead to stretch through the side body. And inhale, return back to center. We extend both arms up. And with your breath out, open, twist to the left. Looking over your left shoulder, actively reach both directions. Return back to center. Inhale here, exhale, half split. Straighten the left leg, flex your foot. And then gently pull your left hip back, right hip forward to level your hips. Try to keep nice and long spine as you fold your torso down towards your left leg. Keep your facial muscles relaxed. And finding open twist, right fingertips on the mat, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling, twisting your torso. Returning back into your low lunge, coming back into tabletop position. And slowly lower yourself down onto your belly for a gentle back bend, sphinx pose. Elbows under your shoulders. And take an inhale here, exhale, look over your right shoulder, stretching through the neck. Return your gaze back to center and slowly look over your left shoulder. And return your gaze back forward. Feel free to close your eyes and we will hold the pose for a couple of breaths. Relax your legs, your glutes. You can bring your legs as wide as your yoga mat to really relax through your lumbar spine. And slowly release, bring your palms back under your shoulders and press yourself onto your hands and knees. Preparing for our first downward facing dog. Walk your hands out in front of you, tuck your toes under and start lifting your hips up towards your ceiling into our down dog. Grounding through your heels, go ahead, bend to your right knee and push through your left heel down to stretch through the back of your left leg. And switching legs, straighten your right leg, left knee bend. Nice. Let's straighten both legs. As you inhale, go ahead, lift your heels up. And as you exhale, gently press your heels back and down. And let's repeat two more times. Inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, release them back and down. One more time. Inhale to lift both heels up. Exhale, push those heels down. Nice. In your down dogs, you are gently pressing your chest towards the thighs, lengthening through the spine. And as you inhale, you can go ahead, bend your knees, look between your hands, and as you exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale into flat back, half lift, palms to the shins. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up slowly, once you are ready, circle your arms out to the side and up overhead and gather your hands at your heart, Samasiti. Standing nice and tall and let's prepare for our first flow. Inhale, circle your arms up, exhale, swan dive down your forward fold. Inhale, your half lift, flat back. 
Exhale, plant your hands and step or hop your feet back into plank position. Shift your weight forward into your toes. Bend your elbows halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Lift your knees, your thighs. Exhale, return back, downward facing dog. Beautiful ground through the knuckles of the fingers, through your heels, shoulders down from the ears. Relax your head, so make sure you're holding tension in the neck. And you can lift your right leg up, open your hips into scorpion, stacking your hips, re-extending your right leg back to three-legged down dog. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, go ahead, rise up into our high lunge. Let's take one more breath in. Exhale, lean and fly, airplane arms. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, open, twist to the right, arms parallel to the floor. Feel free to add on exalted crescent lunge. Right hand on your thigh, left arm overhead. Re-extend both arms, open, and return back into high lunge. Inhaling here, exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, keep lunging your front knee. Exhale, extended side angle, tick tick your arms, six and twelve. Inhale, finding your peaceful warrior one more time. And as you exhale, coming to triangle pose, straighten your front leg. Right hand can be on the shin or inside of your right leg. And left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Opening those hips and shoulders. Inhale into star pose. Straighten your legs, your arms reaching up. Exhale, Skandasana to the left, prayer hands. Inhale, back to star pose. Exhale, Skandasana to the right. And you can return into low line, so turn onto your toes, plant your hands, and step your right foot back into plank position. Shoulders above the wrists, and then release your knees down, bend your elbows back so you can lower down onto your belly. Inhale, find your cobra, lift your chest forward and up. And as you exhale, release. Tuck your toes under, come back onto hands and knees and return back into downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath here. And we will switch sides. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale your scorpion on this side, so stacking your hips, pulling your left heel towards the glute. Re-extend your left leg, and as you exhale, step your left foot between your hands, low lunge. Push into your front foot so you can rise up into crescent lunge. Tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your belly, feel free to bend your right knee. Stay strong in the legs, inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, lean your torso forward, airplane arms. Inhale, back to high lunge. Exhale, turn your torso open to the left. Perhaps adding small back bend as you bring your left hand on your thigh, right arm overhead. Reopen your arms. Then with your next breath in, return back into high lunge. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Reach your left arm up and overhead. Exhale, extended side angle. And just keeping a lunge in your front knee. Let's do one more time, peaceful warrior. Breathing in and breathing out, finding triangle pose. So keep your hips open as well as your right shoulder, perhaps looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, return back into center star pose. Exhale, side lunge, skandasana to the right. Bend your right knee, left leg straight. Return back to center star pose. Exhale, switching sides and skandasana to the left. 
nice push into your left heel to rise back up just your feet so your feet are parallel to the short edges of the yoga mat and as you exhale forward for prasarita relax your head down palms can be under the shoulders Let's go ahead and lift your torso halfway, come up to your fingertips and walk your hands to the right as you grab your ankle and right arm reaches up towards the ceiling into a twist. Bend it to your left elbow to deepen the twist and return back to center. Walk your hands to the left, perhaps grabbing your ankle with your right hand and left arm reaches up twisting your torso to the left beautiful go ahead return back to center and then slowly bring one knee at a time back on the mat and let's prepare for camel pose so tuck your toes under you are standing on your knees placing your hands on your lower back Draw your shoulder blades down and together your back and pull your elbows towards each other then slowly start lifting your chest forward and up, opening your chest and shoulders, perhaps reaching for your heels into full camel pose. If your neck is okay, you can tilt your head back to stretch through your throat. And slowly, if you are holding your heels, bring one hand at a time back onto your lower back. Untuck your toes and sit down on your heels. Take a moment here to neutralize your hips. And then fold in your torso into full child's pose. And just relax through the spine, your shoulders, allow your arms to feel heavy. And bring your awareness back to your breath. Perhaps notice the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. Relax your face, unclenching the jaw. And you can slowly start crawling your spine all the way back up to a seat. Let's go ahead, plant your hands out in front of you and step one leg at a time back to plank position. And adding side plank, so bring your feet together, roll your heels to the left, so side plank on your left hand. Feel free to modify your side plank and then extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Keep lifting your hips up, engaging your core, perhaps lifting your right leg up. Nice, slowly return back into plank and preparing to switch sides. So firmly press into your right hand, turning your heels to the right, perhaps stacking your feet or bringing your left foot in front of your right. And again, keep your core engaged as you lift your hips as high as you can. Option to lift your left leg. Keep pushing into your right hand and slowly release as you plant your left hand back on the mat, plank position moving through our chaturanga again so shift your weight forward into your toes exhale chaturanga low push-up inhale upper facing dog lifting your knees your thighs and as you exhale downward facing dog well done everyone let's pause here for a moment a couple of deep breaths i'll take a moment here to check in with yourself how you feel
and then let's move on to pigeon pose so go ahead and lift your right leg up and open your hips into scorpion and then once you're ready bring your knee right in towards your right wrist finding pigeon pose stand your left leg long behind come up to your fingertips to lift up through your chest and shoulders try to level your hips and then once you are ready you can release fold your torso forward and down perhaps on your elbows or you can stack your hands as a pillow under your forehead or you can turn your head to one side pigeon pose is great pose for our hips so we will pause here for a couple of deep and mindful breaths so bring your awareness into your right hip and just try to relax and let go of any tension. Beautiful. Take your time coming back onto your hands. We will add on quadriceps stretch. So go ahead and bend your left knee and perhaps reaching for your foot with your right hand. So you're gently twisting your torso to the right as you pull your heel towards the glutes. You're gently pulling to stretch through your quadriceps. And return back to center. Tuck your left toes under, press into your hands and lift your right leg back up, three-legged down dog and shake your right leg out. Return back into downward facing dog and we will switch legs. So go ahead, lift your left leg up and open your hips into scorpion, just preparing for pigeon pose. And then we extend your left leg as you bring that left knee forward towards your left wrist, checking your right leg long right toes straight coming up onto your fingertips first you can lift up and open through the chest and then slowly once you are ready walk your hands out in front of you folding your torso forward and down into sleeping pigeon perhaps noticing how this side feels comparing your right side and again, feel free to turn your head to one side and just try to relax into the pose as much as possible. You can slowly start moving out from the pose coming back onto your hands go ahead bend your right knee flex your foot as you pull your heel in and perhaps if you can reach with your left hand grabbing your ankle and gently pulling your heel towards the glute to stretch through your quadriceps Then release and return back into three legged like down dog so you can shake your left leg out. Well done. Coming back downward facing dog. Now let's take one more breath here in your down dog. Nice. Coming to our next pose, dolphin. So go ahead and lower yourself onto your elbows. So keep pressing into your elbows to lengthen through the spine, relax your head down, holding the pose for a few slow and deep breaths. Nice. And you can stay here in your dolphin pose or you can take a rest in a child's pose and stay in your dolphin pose or option to do head stand from here. If headstand is in your practice, you can go ahead, start practicing or any kind of inversion. So if you are doing headstand with me, so clasp your hands, holding your head 
And then slowly start walking your feet towards your elbows. Squeeze your belly and then slowly start lifting your legs up towards the ceiling. Slowly start straightening your legs as you point your toes. Keep pushing, firmly pressing into your forearms. Be careful and mindful of your neck. And whenever you are ready, take your time, slowly release or bring your feet back down. And take a moment to rest in a child's pose. You can fold your hands under your forehead, relax your neck and shoulders and just notice how you feel after your head stand or if you were holding dolphin pose. Also take a moment to rest in a child's pose. You can go ahead slowly, lift your torso back up you can shift your hips onto one side so you can extend your legs out in front of you bend your right knee and then pull your right heel as closer towards the sit bones as you can flex your left foot inhale extend your arms up towards the ceiling to lengthen through the spine and as you exhale forward fold so perhaps grabbing your left foot try to keep your spine nice and long as you gently pull your torso towards your left leg. You can go ahead, rise up, then turn your torso towards your right knee and adding a lighter stretch side bend. Reach your right arm up and overhead, nice and deep stretch through the side body, going down into our right hip. And as you breathe in, rise your torso slowly back up. And we will add on twists, so bring your right fingertips behind your body to support your body into your twist. Inhale to lengthen the spine, exhale into your twist. Gently press your right shoulder back. Return back to center and let's switch legs. So go ahead, re-extend both legs, shake your legs out. Bend your left knee, pulling your left heel towards your sit bones. Flex your right foot, ground through both sit bones evenly. Inhale as you stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, lift up from the pelvis. And as you exhale, hinge at your hips. So again, keep your spine nice and long into your forward fold. And you can feel free to bend your right knee as much as you need to. Let's so take one more breath here and slowly rise back up, turning your torso to the left and adding our side bend. So holding your knee with your right hand and left arm reaches up and over into our side bend. Relax your head down and just keep stretching through the side body. Beautiful, rise up as you breathe in. Exhale, twist your torso open to the left. Left fingertips supporting your body. Return your torso back to center. Re-extend your left leg out in front of you, shake your legs out. You can go ahead and let's lie down on your back. 
In bending your knees, hold your knees, gently pull your knees towards your chest, rocking side to side. Giving your lower back a little massage here. Nice, go ahead and extend your left leg long, keep holding your right knee and gently keep pulling your right knee towards your body. Opening up through your right hip, relax your feet, your toes and switching legs once you're ready. Left knee bent to pull your knee in and up towards your chest. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Nice. Go ahead, rebend both knees, prepare your feet for a bridge pose. So make sure your feet are parallel and about hip width apart. And when you lift your pelvis up into your bridge pose, making sure you have your knees right above your ankles. Keep gently pressing the back of the head, shoulders, arms, push through your heels to open up through your hips, gently lifting your chest towards the chin. And once you are ready, slowly roll your spine all the way back down onto your yoga mat. And let's bring your feet this time as wide as your yoga mat. Open your arms out into your T-shape. And let's release into our spinal twist. So dropping your knees to the right and look over your left shoulder. Close your eyes and take a moment here to relax into the pose. Try to release any tension from your lumbar spine. And just try to relax into the pose. Nice. Coming back to center, so go ahead, lift your knees back up, take an inhale and with your exhale, release, drop your knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder, close your eyes, holding the pose for a couple deep breaths. And you can start bringing your knees back up. Now let's go ahead and extend your legs up towards the ceiling. You can flex your feet, bend your knees if you'd like. Just take a moment here to really relax your legs. So allow your legs to feel heavy. You can move your legs slightly, gently moving right and left. Just allow your legs to kind of float in the air. Feel free to stay here with your legs up uh, towards the ceiling. Or if, if you'd like to practice shoulder stand, so go ahead and hike your hips up and extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Point your toes, straighten your legs as much as possible palms on your lumbar spine to support your back and then if you'd like from here to take it to plow pose take your time slowly bring your legs overhead so feel free to bend your knees your feet can just hover or maybe if you can release your toes all the way on the floor Nice, make sure you're breathing, so not holding the breath. This is challenging pose. And once you're ready to slowly start moving out from the pose, make sure you're moving out really, really slowly as you roll your spine, upper back, going mid back, 
lumbar spine and then slowly release your feet on the mat. Nice, let's bring your feet as wide as your yoga mat, bring your knees together, rest your hands on your belly and take a moment here to rest and relax. After these challenging poses, perhaps noticing how you are feeling. Feel the rise and fall of the belly as you breathe. And then slowly toe heel your feet back together. Lift your feet off the mat so you can hold your knees and gently start pulling your knees in towards your chest. Perhaps lifting your head this time to pull your forehead towards your knees. Just give yourself a nice big hug, big squeeze. Preparing for your final resting pose, Shavasana. So go ahead, extend one leg at a time out long, relax your toes, open your arms wide, turn your palms up towards the ceiling so you can open up through the chest and shoulders. Great practice, everyone. So let's pause here for a moment in stillness, just to enjoy relaxation. Enjoy Shavasana, the most important pose of the practice. And you can really, really slowly start moving out from your Shavasana. Pickle your fingers, your toes. Start circling your wrists, your ankles. Bring your legs together as you reach your arms overhead. One last big stretch, like in the morning stretch. Bend your knees, roll onto one side, fetal position. And just pause you for a moment. Notice how you feel. Okay, this calming, peaceful feeling with you throughout the rest of your day. And you can use your hands to press yourself up to a seat so we can end our practice together. Cross your legs, Sukhasana, prayer hands, your Anjali Mudra, lift your sternum towards your thumbs. Just take a moment here, a moment of gratitude for yourself. All right, everyone, softly open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I hope I will be practicing with you again soon. Namaste.